Hi and welcome back to another YouTube 3D printing video. Well at the moment I can't 3D print anything because basically this fan here is blowing way way too much on. Wait a second. Way way too much cold air, cold air on the heat block just down there underneath where the nozzle meets. I don't know if you can see it but the heat block is just there where that fan blade hits. There we go, it's a bit clearer now. Just there where the fan blade hits. So when you're trying to hit with your nozzle, this fan is actually cooling that down. And when you start printing, it's causing jam in the nozzle. So it's, it's coming out, it goes there, gets hot, and then cools down too fast and starts jamming the end of the nozzle. You end up clicking on your extruder motor. So that's that bit on that bit. Sorry about the camera. So, when I told you I upgraded the uh, gearing on the extruder, just here, sorry about the light, it's a bit reflective. The teeth on there, got more teeth on the nozzle thing there, like that. And what I tried doing was, made a paper template. Just get the template, tell you about the camera again. And the metal piece, what I made by hand. So, what I did was take that off there, press the paper against it, or you could do like a water marker, what you use on whiteboards. Put your paper on top, rub against it, slowly take it off, and you'll end up with. A pattern the you know, same as this, but what I did was I made a mistake and fell, folded it that way. The same, same as this corner piece of aluminium. That's why I've ended up with three holes in the middle, two off to one side, which I should have put on that way. And then I did the same thing with the two piece, two screws at the back of here. Push the paper in where the paper is, tried lining it up, just squash the paper, which then I created these two holes here and just created a bracket. So it kind of looks the same, doesn't it? So I've got the bracket in line. But bear in mind, I did all these without just a basic screwdriver drill. Just not a, it's not a drill, it's just a cordless screwdriver with uh, drill bits, well, I've got screws on, drill bit screws, drill heads, whatever you want to call them, and I just drilled the holes. I only used two of these screws and I mounted it just there the other day, and it went from Bowden tube, I only a tiny bit of Bowden tube inside here, and into these, but this is very difficult to pull the Bowden tube back out. So I had to keep unscrewing it. So my funding for this printer have gone down pretty low. So I've got to try and redesign this piece by hand and files as best I can. And you see these little tiny standoffs in here, these brass ones. I have to create another aluminium piece with two holes on and uh, Cut out slot, a bit like this, but bigger for that to slide in for my other part because that's way, way cooling that down too much. And I might have to redesign this piece to hold that on and this piece to hold this on. So I might have to redesign, like cut it a bit longer and bend it down, maybe somehow. Hope you like my YouTube video. Sorry, I haven't updated for a, lot, a while. I've been kind of busy, as you can see. Hope you say subscribe. There's a subscribe button just there where that red bar is if you're not subscribed already. And if you see that little tiny thing, it's called a bell. So you go ding 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 ding, ring that bell. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big massive thumbs up. Thanks for watching.